there, on this video we're going to have a look uh, at smart materials. I'm going to talk about various smart materials that we have uh, and give you a few demonstrations as well. Now all materials have uh, properties, uh, ductility, flexibility, brittleness, uh, they have colour. Now what's special about smart materials is that the property of the material will change due to a change of its environment. Uh, that change of environment can be heat, uh, it can be uh, light, it can be electricity, uh, it can be humidity, it can be a number of things, uh, but the property will actually change of that material. Now there are smart materials everywhere. If I go into my pocket uh, and pull out my, my iPhone, and it's the same with iPods as well, uh, what Apple have done is within the, uh, the socket there they have uh, small dots of hydrochromatic ink. Um, hydrochromatic inks are inks that change colour due to a change in humidity. So in other words, if they get wet, they will change colour. So if you drop your, your iPhone down the toilet or go into the sea with it, uh, and then take it uh, back to the Apple shop and try and fob them off that it's just broken, uh, they can have a look at the hydrochromatic ink and they will see uh, whether you've actually got it wet or not. If I go into my wallet, uh, I went to Tesco's this morning, uh, bought a few goods, uh, and when I left the, uh, the till, I came away with my receipt. Now my receipt is actually a thermochromatic paper, uh, which means that it will change colour due to heat. So it's not ink sprayed onto uh, paper like your printer at home. This is actually a thermochromatic ink, and I can show you this, uh, and you can see this, uh, you can try this at home as well. So if I just dip my receipt into hot water, Okay, you can see it darkens there because it's a, a thermochromatic ink. Okay, so um, let's look at some different products. I'm going to start off by showing you a, a novelty product. This is actually a, an ironing board cover which is marketed towards females, would you believe, to try and get their husbands uh, to do more ironing. Uh, so you've got a picture there of Jordan or Katie Price. Uh, laying down with a bikini on and the bikini is painted on with a smart material. It's painted on with a thermochromatic material uh, which means that when it gets hot it will change colour or in this case it will disappear. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll test that at the end of the video. Uh, I'm also going to show you another really nice product. This is thermochromatic material, thermochromatic fabric. Uh, and this fabric will change colour when it gets hot. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop that on. Uh, so with the magic of uh, video editing, I'm just going to pop that on very quickly uh, and we'll give that a go. Okay, now I've got my uh, thermochromatic t-shirt on and to show you how it works, uh, I'm just going to blast myself with a hairdryer. And you can see there where it gets hot, um, it's changing colour. Uh, you can also get t-shirts with thermochromatic messages on. Uh, so as you're dancing on the dance floor and you get hotter and hotter, uh, a message appears on your t-shirt. So that's thermochromatic uh, fabric. So I'm just going to change back uh, and then we'll have a look at a few more products. Right, okay, uh, back again. So uh, we're now going to concentrate on some more thermochromatic materials uh, uh, and we're going to just see some of the applications that they can be used for. So here we've got a thermochromatic sheet, uh, which is a sheet of plastic with a, a thermochromatic ink underneath a, a layer of plastic. And you can see there, as I'm touching it, it's quite a hot day and I'm quite hot, uh, then it's changing the colour of the thermochromatic sheet. If I just give it a, a bit of a blast with the hairdryer, you can see what's really good about this sheet, it actually creates what we call a thermal gradient. So uh, where it's really hot it's blue uh, and as the temperature goes down it goes to green, it goes to yellow and it goes to red. So it actually shows a range of temperatures which is really handy because that means we can use thermochromatic paper to create some objects that are useful to us. So uh, here we've got a, um, a thermochromatic temperature gauge 
uh, and you can see there that it says 24 so the temperature at the moment according to this is 24 degrees quite a hot day uh, we've also got a uh, an adult fever temperature gauge or thermometer and the idea is that, that you place that on your on your forehead and that will read the temperature um, of your body so we've got uh, some good products there uh, some more novelty products I've got a smart putty here which is a, a thermochromatic it's got a thermochromatic pigment in it so it's orange um, but as you play with the putty and your hands are hot uh, you can see it starts to go to go yellow as it changes colour as it gets hotter so that's a thermochromatic putty uh, we've also got um, some thermochromatic uh, objects which are uh, related to, to baby care so here we've got a, a plastic baby's uh, feeding spoon which is made of uh, plastic uh, but it's got a thermochromatic pigment in it so as you're feeding the baby and the food is on the top there if the food is too hot uh, the spoon will change colour to show mum uh, that it's too hot so if I just dip that in my hot water okay you can see it's gone from blue to uh, quite a, a bright pinky pinky colour. So that's a thermochromatic pigment in a, a plastic spoon. Uh, also for temperature you've got uh, this uh, small duct which sticks on the inside of the bath so as you're running the water for the, for the baby uh, make sure the water's not too hot. You've actually got three symbols here, you've got a tick in the middle there to show that it's the right temperature a minus to say that it's uh, too cold and a positive to say that it's too hot. Uh, so that will, um, see there it's come up. So that's quite a nice little product. Um, you've also got this, this is uh, something that I thought was quite interesting. This is a, this is a sticker to try and uh, encourage uh, children to use their potty. Now when I saw this I thought it was a hydrochromatic sticker because I thought it would react to uh, water when the baby wheezes on it but it actually works with uh, a thermochromatic pigment in it uh, and I've got one in there at the moment so I'm just going to pour some water in there and we'll see what happens. Okay so now we're going to replicate a child weeing into the potty so at the bottom of the potty there I've got my black sticker and I'm just going to pour some warm water into the potty and we'll have a look and see what the, the sticker does. So here we go. Okay and then it changes straight away into a nice little smiley face to try and encourage the child to wee in their potty. So that one again is a thermochromatic pigment within the sticker. Okay, this is a nice, uh, nice product. This is a mug with a, uh, a thermochromatic pigment within the glaze. So as you pour hot water into the mug, it will actually change colour. So we'll give that a go. Uh, so I'll put that on the table. I've got my hot water. And you can see there that it's gradually changing colour from cold to hot. Okay, so that's thermochromatic materials, which are materials which change due to a change in temperature. Um, I've already mentioned my iPhone and the hydrochromatic ink which is in the iPhone. Uh, you can also buy this product which is hydrochromatic paint, which is white paint that you can uh, cover a picture with. Uh, it's opaque which means that you, uh, you can't see through it, but when it gets wet it goes transparent. So here on this block of wood I have uh, a picture that I've printed out of uh, Shaggy from Scooby-Doo and I've just painted it with my hydrochromatic paint uh, and as you can see it's blanked it out but if I just get my water now and go across the picture will appear so I'm not wiping the paint off the paint is just going transparent because it's a hydrochromatic paint so that's hydrochromatic smart materials. Okay, we're going to look at another couple of smart materials now. Um, this is phosphorescent pigments, which are 
uh, pigments which uh, basically glow in the dark. So how they work is they will, they will take in energy, they will store the energy and they will release that energy in the form of light uh, over a slower period of time. So here we've got some, some, a roll of glow-in-the-dark tape uh, which would be ideal for putting uh, along uh, the floor to show a route out of a building in an emergency if the, the lights go out. Uh, and what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll try and uh, photograph that and, and put it on the top uh, right hand side of the screen so that you can see. We've also got these. Uh, these are glow-in-the-dark hammer beads um, which have been put together. Uh, you can also get glow-in-the-dark stickers and various uh, bits and pieces which can go on your wall uh, and they act in the same way so they will store energy uh, and they will release the energy slowly uh, and as a consequence will, will glow in the dark. So that's phosphorescent. Okay, the next smart material we're going to look at is this. Uh, this is a shape memory polymer. Uh, this is a plastic that is uh, rigid and tough when it's at room temperature. If you heat it up to uh, 70 degrees centigrade, it becomes very malleable. So I'm going to try and do that with my, uh, my hairdryer. Okay, so that should be up to about 70 now, and I can just flex it. Uh, bend it round and as that cools that will uh, that will set um, and if I want to get it back again it's shape memory so it remembers the shape it's at if I heat it up it will just open out and go back to its flat shape again so that's shape memory polymer or shape memory plastic okay another shape memory material is this uh, this is shape memory wire so what I can do with this is I can uh, bend it into uh, different shapes. I can use pliers to bend it. And it will stay in the shape that I bend it. But if you put it into water, uh, which is above 90 degrees, it will straight out uh, pretty much instantaneously. So if I put this in the hot water, it literally snaps back to its original shape. We've also got these uh, smart springs. Uh, these are pretty cool. Uh, what they do is, in hot water, they will expand and stretch out, uh, and if dipped back into cold water, they will contract again. So I've got my hot water here and my cold water here. So if I put the uh, spring into hot water, this is what happens. And if I put it back into cold water, it should go back. Okay, let's do that again. Into hot. And straight back again into cold. So that's uh, shape memory alloy. Okay, so that's smart materials. Um, we've got thermochromatic materials, which are materials that change due to a change in heat. We have photochromatic, which change due to light. We have hydrochromatic, which change due to uh, humidity or, or dampness. Uh, we've looked at phosphorescence. We've looked at uh, smart alloys, memory alloys. The last thing I'm going to show you is uh, this stuff, which is called polymorph. Uh, this is a, a thermoplastic, uh, it comes in granules when you buy it. Uh, when it is at room temperature it is, it is hard, it's very tough. Uh, if you heat it up to 60 degrees centigrade uh, it will fuse and become uh, soft and malleable. So I've just put that into hot water. Uh, you can see that it goes from white to transparent. Uh, which means it's at the right temperature. If I now take that out, uh, that has now become very, very malleable and I can shape that into anything I like. And as it cools, when it gets to 60 degrees, it will go opaque again, it will go white uh, and it will harden up. So this is one that I just did earlier. It's just a, a large piece of polymorph which I uh, squished between my hand and there I've just created a mould of my hand. So you can actually create handles for, for tools which are actually bespoke to your own uh, hand shape. So that's polymorph. 
so that ends the video. Um, I did say at the beginning of the video that I would be testing the, uh, uh, the Jordan one, uh, but you didn't really think that I was going to test that, did you? Thanks for listening.